In this video, let's take a quick look at New Blue Effects Film Color. So here we have Film Color open, and let me just show you some of the presets here. You see all of these presets that come with it. It's loaded with presets, and you can do things like apply to title mat, change the color of the tint here, saturation, brightness, contrast, film gamma, and diffusion. So those are the basic controls. But let me show you how I recently used New Blue Effects Film Color. So this video here is just about uh, monster cables and getting an RMA from them. And in order to keep the video as brief as possible, I had to cut in scenes, clips that sort of flashed forward. Okay, so clips that don't move along sequentially in the timeline. They're out of sync. You see here, I have the cables in the box. Then we go through these scenes where I'm actually unwrapping the cables. And then we go right back to the cables in the box. So in order to simulate a flash forward, which is similar to maybe simulating like a flashback, like a lot of times in TV or films, you'll see somebody has a flashback. They might put some sort of a, a blur filter, maybe make it black and white, pull out some saturation, whatever. And that's sort of what I've done here with New Blue Film Color. I've desaturated the clips a bit and I added some diffusion to sort of bring out that glow to sort of simulate a flash forward. So let's look at the sequence I put together and you'll see what I'm talking about here indeed went ahead and replaced all the cables that I sent in. So, you know what? That's absolutely great. Thank you very much, Monster Cables. That's one reason why I buy Monster Cables is because... So you see how that film effect, that film color effect, really helps to simulate that this is not happening in real time. This is what happened, you know, like after the video finished. We're seeing this, and then we flash right back to, you know, our timeline, right into the sequence of how things should progress in normal life. Now let me hop over to another project that I used film color on. Now in this project I used New Blue Film Effects film color in order to sort of color correct a scene. Not really color correct but to add sort of a a feeling to the clips that I cut in and cut out of. So you can see here there's a bit of a tint on this clip, a bit of desaturation, and a bit of diffusion just to add a bit of a glow. And here's the original clip which you can see here. And then here's the clip that we cut in. So I think that looks a lot better. You see, I also use it on other clips, again, to really pull up like that glow and to give it sort of like an arty feel to the scenes instead of just being, you know, something you would normally film and normally see. So there's tons of different uses for New Blue Film Effects film color. Now before I leave here, I'll pop into New Blue Film Effects and uh, let me just go through some presets so you can see them. So here's black and white, all right? And again, we can adjust things manually to fit our scene a little bit better. Let's go to bleached, there's bright colors, there's cafe, let's go to cool, let's go to diffusion. And again, we can adjust this. Maybe we don't want so much diffusion on that. And maybe we'd like to change this tint color to say like a green. We can do that. We'll cut in some of that tint there. So there are tons of different ways that you can use this new blue film effects film color. Let's go to moonlight, Film Noir, just all kind of great presets already set up here in film color for you to call up real quick and then, you know, you can quickly adjust them to fit your scene just right. The preset I use a lot of is uh, Sci-Fi Future. I absolutely love this effect from New Blue Effects. It's called Film Color. Go to newblueeffects.com, check it out. I believe you can even get a uh, trial of it if you just want to try it out. So go check them out at newblueeffects.com.